mate. I loved it. It was, um, as I said to you, a lot of people do those sort of things and just get up and just talk and talk and talk and, like, try and rev you up, stuff like that, but don't have sort of, like, practical takeaways to take away and actually do and actually make you work on it and get better at it. So I went home, done a couple of, like, the activities, of, and I think it's given me... Um, for footy wise, I think mentally I did drop away a little bit in the fact that there's a couple of guys that I would probably almost, I'd say, have my measure over the last couple of years that I've played against. And <clears throat> I know I'm better than them, but I probably gave them too much credit. I was going, oh, no, he's a good player. It's all right to sort of get beaten by him like that. Whereas now I'm thinking, no, that's fucking bullshit. I'm better than him. I'm going to fucking beat him. It was almost like that negative talk as in like, uh, um, I can't or something like that. I was kind of always masking that like as an excuse without even sort of realising. So now, like, yeah, <laughs> that's a big thing. It's no, I'm the fucking best. No one's fucking beating me. More so around that positive talk stuff. Like, even I caught myself, like, talking with clients, like, oh, what are you on doing tonight? And I'm like, oh, I've got to go to training. It's like, no, I get to go to training. 